nice. Here we are. Hello. G'day, how are you going? It's been a while. It has. It has been a long while since we sat and had a chat. Yep. So I just thought we'd catch up and let you know what's happening and where we are and what's been going on and uh, what's happened in this week's video. We we varnished. Wendy started varnishing. Big, big varnishing week. Um, what else? I built a a, a um, hard top for the um, cockpit. Sort of a not a real dodger because it's it's going to stay there and it's going to have solar panels on top. Not this one that I've just built. As you'll see, it's just a prototype to make sure it all works. So, uh, and we just get along with cleaning the boat, um, cleaning the sails, fixing some rigging, sorting out the mizzen boom. We had a yeah. pretty busy week. Yeah. Um, we are at the marina in the water in Mexico still. And... We hope to leave this Thursday, hopefully. Uh, we've been waiting on some parts that were going to make it, um, but they haven't. And then the weather changed, so should be reason. There's another hurricane forming just off the coast here, so we. That's what's going to be the deciding factor whether that if that for, oops I'm wobbling the camera if that <laughs> forms up. Um, <laughs> If that forms up, we won't leave. But if it's if it stays offshore a bit, we're pretty safe from here across to Watuko, which is the next port. Yeah, can't oh, wait yeah. to yeah to go. As you can see, I've had a haircut. I've been told by so many people I look like a tramp, so it was time to <laughs> clean the act up, um, get untramp like. So yeah, um, enjoy the video. Catch you later. Bye. What's going on? Um. Apart just, from setting fire to the boat. Just going to have a barbie. What are we going to have on the barbie? Um. I know burgers sounds pretty bland. That's if you buy them from Sainsbury's, Walmart, Coles. What other country we've got out there? Um. Anyway, from your local joint. But check these out. Wendy has a reputation as the best burger maker that there is. Um, I just cook them, but she makes them. There is, there is so much stuff in there, and so much love, and they taste so good. And only a few people know how good these taste. So uh, that's what we're having tonight, yeah? Special burgers, but I mean they're Aussie burgers, they've got all the stuff. So they'll be good. Well, every day about this time, this little panger comes by with people in life jackets. And we sort of think it might be a tourist boat, not sure, but it's really quite sweet. Yeah, they can check out the only two people in the whole marina. Yeah. Because we are, we're the only. I've been, I've had a lot of boats and we've been, I've been in a lot of marinas, I've worked in marinas my whole life. And they're usually full of people saying g'day and barbecues and drinks and sundowners and all sorts of things. And it's a real hive of activity. Wendy and I are the only two people <laughs> Very strange. in this whole marina. Yeah, um, bit eerie. How many boats? One, two, oh. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen boats. And we are the only two living souls this side of those gates. So it's really weird. It's like the Langoliers. It's like everyone's been stuck in a time warp and there's just us here. We slept through the time warp. Yeah. So, but hey, we've got each other. What more do you need? Cheers. They're looking good. Just wait for the cheese to melt and life will be good. Look at that baby. So what do you got there, Wayne? I've got a burger with um, a Mexican roll. So it's a deconstructed burger. It's pretty good. I haven't actually tried it yet. Looks alright. Looks alright. I'll probably wear it. <laughs> That's good. Out of five? Five? Yeah. Mm. Your burgers are. No, it's the way they're cooked. <laughs> Our first really beautiful sunset. 
That's a bit past sunset. We've just got what's left. Absolutely beautiful. What are you up to, Wen? I'm just going to finish sanding this box and this will be the first thing I'm going to varnish to see what it looks like and check out my skills. So yeah, just taking the last bits off and then uh, sanding it and then tomorrow I shall varnish it. So it's a bit exciting because it's been months of getting the varnish off this boat. That's it. We're going to lift the mizzen boom up to a new spot. It used to be down here, but we're going to lift it up to there. Actually, we're going to lift it up to there, which is an extra foot higher. Um, we've got a foot at the top of the sail to play with, so that'll lift it up and give us more room for our bimini once we make that. I'm going to clean all this up this afternoon. It was frozen solid and uh, give it all a clean up, make it all look good again. The old girl's getting a spring clean and a good scrub. Magnus has just cleaned the boom. Just where men should be, on their knees. Yeah, she's having a bath today. Sails had a wash. We're just taking the sails off, down and off. Give them a clean. And we're going to give them a scrub. Put a little gecko in there. Yeah, there's gecko poo in here. So but that's not a, too bad. We've had a gecko living here while we've been away. So this will be the first time the sail will actually come off. Yep. Just remove the. Uh, what did you remove? What was that thing you just removed? Um. Oh, the sail track stopper. So now we can get the sails down out of that little hole there, which you can't really see, but you can see. I didn't realise it was so easy to get out. That's it. Down. Are you sliding it forward and off the In track? In the track, yeah. Okay. You remember to do your under your reefing lines? Yeah. Are they connected to your sail? Okay. And we've got one broken sail slate here to replace. Um, have we got any spare ones? Yeah, there's a few spares on board. That's handy. There she goes. And that's it. First time ever. Gonna get a bath tomorrow. Just getting the mainsail down. Ready for a clean. Ready for a while? A clean. Yeah, and Tomorrow. service the boom and gooseneck and yeah. out hall which is jammed. Two down. One to go. Two to go. Oh, two to go. Oh yeah, we got four, haven't we? I forget we have four. So we've been busy getting the sails off and the mizzen boom. The sails we're going to clean them tomorrow and the mizzen boom I'll give a scrub this afternoon. We just went to Tapatula to Home Depot to pick up some PVC plumbing bits and pieces to make... Ah, uh, bimini. Well, it's a, it's a proof of concept. So instead of spending a thousand dollars on, or two thousand dollars on stainless steel and another thousand or two getting it welded, I thought I'd make it out of PVC first. Make sure that we can see sails and nothing interferes and it's all as we want it. So just knocking it up. So this is the beginnings of the prototype. Yep. Wow, it's looking good. And uh, Magnus has raised the mizzen up quite a bit. Yeah, it's gone up about seven inches. So we can fit this in underneath and still hopefully stand up, which yeah, it's working. I think. It's like the car now. It is a bit. For those of you who are our age, 
I don't know if Meccano, they still make Meccano. Now I've got to bend this one. How do you, can you demo how you bend it? Or you, oh, with brute force. Right, I'm going to build now from there, bending out, bending out into this one. So it forms a nice strong end and then that's going to tee into this one. So that's my plan next. So I thought the radius of this is about right. So if I heat this up, lay it on here gently with a towel on top and then bend it over, I'll get that beautiful, beautiful big right? radius like nice. that. And they'll all be the same. That's my plan. So if you want to help, video this. Video it or do it? A video, I'll yeah, show you how I'll it video. works. <laughs> So my job. What you do, because we want the red writing on the top, that's our that's inside, so we want there. Just find the metal. They go quite a long way up it. So I want to get a long bend. Oh yeah, okay. Put some pressure on it, you can all of a sudden feel when it's ready. It just goes dust to go all of a sudden. So it's just about ready there. Look at that. Woo! So it's just steady, steady. What I could do, if I was really clever, is to put some cord going to put it under tension and then heat it up gently. So that's our first little bend there. Lovely. And we just keep working on that. Another bit done. Test it. Just to see if the mizzen clears everything. Oh, look at that. Woo, that worked. All the way to there. Everything clear. See, look at the winch handles. This is what? Winch handle. Yeah. New one. Not a broken old one. So, so you can still get to your halyard. We only ever do this like that. It's only the last bit of the sail because they go up so easy being a catch. Um, We've got good we access there. We still get to that. There'll be a cut out of the, out of the. There'll be some. Yeah, I'm going to put some blocks up to lift this um, sheet up to the. So it actually goes up to the boom. So there'll be blocks for that. And um, then at the back where the um, Willy is. Willy, Wally. Yeah, you can still get through. You can still here. get through up there. Yeah. So the back There's where no Willie is. There's no difference at all there. You can, you can still, still get through get up easily, here. actually. You can still sit up here with my favourite spot. Yeah. See the sails working. Looks good. Yeah. I think it'll work. I'm just trying to work out how you can uh, do a small radius for the end of this bit of PVC. We've got a bit of a contraption going here. Put it on there, we can put that and we can just bend it around this winch. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's got potential. Mm -hmm. ah. Ooh. What are you up to? I'm doing the nearly at the end. Yeah, it's looking good. Look it's been at, months. Look at this. So just it's doing the rough thing. one and then the fine one and then the varnish. Yay! It's time. I've prepped the cockpit, ready for the varnish. Months of work. Today's the day. So here's before. And soon there'll be an after. 
what's going on in this cabin? I'm cutting a hole with a drill. And what's going in there? Um, battery monitor. Cool. I was just about to start varnishing and then I remembered that I hadn't put the masking tape on. So I've put that on now. Ready to varnish. Let's go and see what Wendy's up to. Wow, that looks so schmick. It's very quick. Look at that. I'm in a very cat handed there position. There to there. Yeah. <sighs> this cockpit is going to look sensational. Sure is. You happy with it, Wen? Very happy. Cool. Look at the difference there. Wow, incredible. It looks beautiful. You must be feeling good, Wen. <laughs> yeah, it's the last bit. Looking good. Thank you. Looks unbelievable. And this is it after the first coat of varnish. It's quite different. Hope you enjoyed that. We, um, I just watched it and we, yeah, we did a bit of varnishing. You should see how much we've done now. It's because oh, yeah. now it's like real time. Yeah. So <laughs> it's two weeks later. She's looking good. Wow, we put some varnish on this boat. Yeah, she's looking really schmick. Um, yeah, a few jobs out of the way. So um, I just noticed, I was looking up at our, our um, little job notice board up here. <gasps> we get to take one off. We get to take the, the electric autopilot. Oh. Done. Because they're all the big jobs up there. I just saw another one up here, which is <sighs> yes. Shade. Oh, but that's a secret. No. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we'll stick that one back up. We'll stick it because we have actually finished it, but on the video we've only half finished it. So rip can, it in half, put it back can, up. Yeah, they can sort of get that bit taken off. That's a half is done, <laughs> and that can go back up there. Um. And I want to say welcome to a couple of new patrons. Um, yeah. Who we got? Yuan and Thomas. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining yeah. the nutty crew. The joining the nutty crew. Hmm. Um, have you done these? You haven't. Have you done the sewing machine video no, yet? No. All right. No. All right. Spoiler alert. So, yeah. And Dale, who's been a long time patron and um, upped it considerably, so mate, thank you. So to all the patrons out there, um, yeah, thank you so much. To yeah, everyone thanks. watching, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, and for all the comments, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's good fun. It is good yeah. fun, we yeah. love reading the comments. We actually absolutely love it's the comments. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And the tips and hints, I was just reading one just now, where I was struggling with the um, the starter motor, and he said you should get yourself an impact um, impact driver. And then I remembered we've got an impact driver. Oh, of course we've got an impact yeah. driver. Yeah, it just it's buried away with all the other stuff that we. The other impact driver, the, probably. Yeah, there were two actually. It was oh, one really? rusted, one that was rusted, oh, and goodness. one that was brand new. Okay. Um. Anyway, we won't waffle. No. So, uh, hopefully. The next time we chat to you, we won't be here. We'll be in another place away. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed and um, carry on carrying on. See ya. Ciao. Bye. I had it, what I was saying in Mexico for goodbye. Uh, don't know. Aloha. No.
No, no, no. Um, oh, I'm hopeless with this language. Adios. 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 <laughs> Cheers, guys. See ya. Bye. We're back. And see you next week. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> same, same bat channel, same bat time. See you see next, you next week. week. <laughs>